We're also learning more about a new solar farm in West Oahu. Yeah, our Casey Lund is in Maili to explain what makes this project different. Casey. Aloha from Maili here on the west side. And we want to give you an idea of the area we're talking about. Uh, this is a really big portion of land here, 25 acres. And uh, you can see on the map exactly kind of where this is going to go just before you get over uh, to the Waianae Mountains. And I want to bring on the developer behind this, one of the people that is bringing this out here to the west side, Peter Savio is with us. Uh, Peter Savio from now Savio Solar Maili. Thanks for being here today. I want to ask you a little bit about this land specifically and why it was chosen, why it's kind of desirable for this project. Yes. Actually, the location is good because out in Waianae side, a lot of sun, and that's what you need, not a lot of clouds. Also, the property is a setback for the subdivision that was built, so it can't be used for any animals or ranching. can be used for farming, but it's not really good farmland. So right now it's used as a nursery, but uh, it's the perfect location. And Peter, I want to ask you about, you, you pitched this out here back in 2021, and it was met with a little skepticism, skepticism and resistance, uh, but, but now it seems like there's some support yeah. from the community. Well, most solar farms don't benefit the community. They just use the land and all the benefits go elsewhere or the profits go to the mainland. This is different in the solar park will be owned by the people on the Waianae Coast. And as owners under the condo concept, they get all the benefits. They don't leave the community. And I want to talk to Ali Andrews about, she is the CEO of Shake Energy, one of your partners, the lead right. consultant on this. So this is unique. This is, I kind of buried the lead here, but this is for renters specifically, condo owners, low income households. It's not going to single family homes or big businesses. How is this going to work? Uh, walk us through the process for the layperson. How do you buy into this? So once the project uh, is operational, which we expect to be in early 2026, uh, homes across Oahu will be eligible uh, to go online and sign up uh, or apply to sign up. Uh, we are trying to focus the financial benefits of this project locally first. So our Community Design Advisory Board, which was a group of community members who gave us input on certain aspects of the project, they told us first focus the, the first three months on Ma'ili residents and let them sign up and after that open the radius to uh, residents of 96792, this zip code out on West Oahu. And then after that, we'll expand to Makakilo Kapole and then if there's leftover subscriptions, we'll go island wide and let people sign up. Really quickly, the idea behind the amount of savings that you could get. I know it's difficult to predict that. We're still, you know, they still haven't even broken ground yet. Um, but what's the thought, or at least the philosophy behind how much you could save? Yeah, so our philosophy is we're trying to derive the same, about the same benefits, maybe better benefits, as if a single family home were going with rooftop solar. So the same amount of um, net savings at the end of every month after you get the credit from the project and after you pay for your subscription. But the buy-in cost we expect to be lower than if you were to go rooftop top solar on your own home, for example. Which can be a real expense. So I appreciate you both being with us today. Of course, there's a lot more to this project. Again, they're going to be in the uh, sort of permit application process for the next year or, or possibly a little bit more before they break ground and begin kind of constructing this project. You can learn a lot more about it. Link up to their website. If you are interested in buying in once they're operational, we have all that information at hawaiinewsnow.com. For now, we'll send things back to you. Thank you very much.